the person who is going to award our International Children's Peace Prize today was a winner, a laureate of the International Children's Peace Prize first in 2013, and the year after, in 2014, she was became the Nobel Peace Prize laureate. She has been fighting all her life, all her young life, for the right of young girls to education. Please, ladies and gentlemen, give a warm welcome to Malala Yousafzai. Thank you for that, you kind, for that kind introduction. Thank you to Kids' Rights for inviting me to speak here today to celebrate the achievements of remarkable young advocates from around the world. I am the winner of International Children's Peace Prize in 2013, but I was also the nominee of this prize in 2011. So congratulations to all the finalists for making it up to here. When I spoke here in 2013, the world looked different. Our leaders did not look to young people to lead. They did not expect that we would soon influence global conversations and spark movements on everything from climate change, racial justice, to girls' education. But here we are, whether it is through technology or arts or athletics, this generation of young people are eager to help solve our world's most pressing problems. In every community, in every country, they're speaking out and organizing and fighting for a more equitable future. I started my campaign for girls' education at 11 years old. I wrote a blog for the BBC about what life was like when the Taliban banned girls from going to school in my hometown in Swat Valley, Pakistan. At that time, I wanted to speak out to continue my education and help other girls in my community do the same. I didn't know if anyone would listen to someone so young, but I wanted people everywhere to know what was happening in my community and our schools. I never could have imagined that people around the world would hear my words and my call for education and equality would grow into a global movement. The three finalists for this year's International Children's Peace Prize had no such doubts. From petitioning to end water pollution, to ensuring students with disabilities have the educational resources they need, to tackling online harassment. These activists understand the power of their voices in order to change the world. Ivana, Sina, and Sadat, your work is ambitious and inspiring. You all are proving to the world what young people can achieve when they have the opportunities to learn and lead. You should all be so proud. Now, it is my honor to announce this year's honoree. The expert committee of the International Children's Peace Prize is proud to recognize Sadat Rahman for his ex extraordinary work to combat cyberbullying in his home country of Bangladesh. He's committed to promoting internet safety, digital literacy, and ensuring that those who need it can access psychosocial support. With his organization, Narayal Volunteers, and the mobile app he built, Sadat has reached over 45,000 teens in his community. Sadat, innovators like you are stepping up to help make our world a brighter and safer place. And I thank you so much for your work. Please this morning, join me in welcoming the 2020 International Children's Peace Prize winner, Sadat Rahman. Congratulations. After, exen after extensive deliberation, the expert committee decided to award Muhammad Sadat Rahman from Bangladesh the International Children's Peace Prize 2020. The expert committee, first of all, wants to compliment the other finalists of the International Children's Peace Prize 2020, Ivana Ortega Siret and Siana Castellon. Both finalists have done great work with children's rights in their, in their respective communities and therefore deserve to be recognized as finalists of the International Children's Peace Prize 2020. Sadat really stood out among the excellent nominees. 
the expert committee selected Sadat as the winner because of his groundbreaking work to stop cyberbullying in his home country, Bangladesh. Sadat not only educated thousands of youth on internet safety and the consequences of cyberbullying, he also created an easy and accessible way of reporting cyberbullying by creating the Cyber Teens app. The strength of the app lies in the technical creation and especially in the collaboration between the police, cyber experts, and the social workers initiated by Sadat to ensure that users of the app get the right help. This makes it a very effective way to combat cyberbullying. The effectiveness of the app is evidenced by the fact that the app has already been downloaded by thousands of youth and that multiple cybercrime perpetrators have been brought to justice because of the app. All children have the right to be protected from violence, no matter if it is physical or mental, offline or online. Cyberbullying is a violation of that right. Sadat is an inspiration for today's youth. He's calling on young people all over the world to stop cyberbullying and to help peers in their community who suffer from mental and emotional violence. Sadat is a true change maker. He has impacted the lives of many children in a positive way and protected their rights. Therefore, he is the rightful winner of the International Children's Peace Prize 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, Sadat Rahman. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Your Excellencies, members of the committee, ladies and gentlemen, their fellow children, and all those viewing this program from the other side of the screen. Assalamu alaikum. Today is like a dream to me. Today I feel so proud to represent Bangladesh among so many important people. I wish you all a very warm welcome. It makes me extremely happy to receive this prize from Nobel Peace Prize laureate Ms. Malala Yousafzai. She and all of the other previous awardees have been and continue to be my inspiration. I'm here today all the way from a very remote rural area of Bangladesh called Norail, in this beautiful place of The Hague to share my journey. In 2017, when Rohingyas sought refuge in Bangladesh due to the violence in their country, I started organizing activities for them. It was then that I discovered the power of youth coming together. Shortly after that, I started a small organization, Noral Volunteers. At that time, I knew very little about cyberbullying. It was this one incident that made me aware of this problem. It was the suicide of a 15-year-old girl named Rupa. 
You learned her story in the video you just saw. And she is not alone. There are so many likes. Uh, there are so many others like her. Cyberbullying is a growing and very common issue. In Bangladesh, almost half of the teenagers on the internet are victims of cyberbullying. Let me tell you what teenagers experience when they are victim of cyberbullying. First, they are really scared because they do not know what to do. But then they get frustrated because there isn't anything they can do. This often leads to sleepless nights, problem at school, anxiety, and in the worst cases, it can lead to them attempting suicide. When I heard the story of Rupa, I knew then that something had to be done. I had this idea that the only way to fight this problem on the internet is through the internet. That's when my team and I created a website and app called Cyberteens. We built a network of experts to help teenage victims of cyberbullying. If a victim makes a report through the app, it will be forwarded to a psychologist, a cyber expert, or to the police. Within one year, we are able to help more than 215 teen teenagers and brought eight cyber criminals to justice. I strongly believe awareness, empathy, counseling, and action are the four drivers of force to combat cyberbullying. The fight against cyberbullying is like a war. And in this war, I am a warrior. If everybody keeps supporting me, then together we will win this battle against cyberbullying. I will not stop until we will receive no more cases through the app. I want to tell all the children from all around the world that if I had remained silent, waiting for the government or any adult to come forward to do something, then maybe nothing would have happened. But now I have already helped so many children. If I can bring a modern solution to a modern problem, living in a rural area, then why can't you? There is a superhero who lives in all of us. Let's work together and make this world peaceful. One today's special day, I wish to show my gratitude to Almighty Allah. Also, I want to thank my parents who have supported me and helped me to get here. And thanks to my teammates and mentors. My heart is thanks to my Honorable Prime Minister, Sheikh Hasina, for gifting us a digital Bangladesh. And a special thanks to his right expert committee who believe in my work and give me honor of such an international recognition. This recognition is of the issue of cyberbullying. I would also like to call upon all the other change makers to continue to fight for our rights. Thank you very much. Shabai Bhala Thakben.